again. Yep, getting it ready. Are you breaking up on me, Woodsy? I didn't get that. Uh, repeat that, please. Are you breaking up on me, Woodsy? Repeat, please, Woodsy. Woodsy, do you copy? Stay put for a moment. We've got a boat in the dive area. Do you copy? little tinny. I mean, he missed me by about a foot. He nearly sliced my hand off. But he didn't. <laughs> okay, no, he didn't. What is this, anyway? It's neoprene. Wetsuit. Looks like it's been dumped. Where's Mick? Is he around? Yeah. Oh. Do you want him to take you to the hospital? Yeah, that'd be great. Can you get him to give us a call? How are you going? Oh, yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll leave. Uh, yes, ma'am. What's that? It's a wetsuit. Emma found it. A weighted down wetty. It's a bit fishy. It's very oh. sus, actually. Very sus. This is a windsurfer wetty sarge. Oh, look at that. CM. That means custom made. If you ring the manufacturer, they keep all custom maids on file. They'll probably be able to tell you whose it is. Okay. And then he turned to the jury. It was like he was trying to tell them they were right. Yeah. I mean, it turns out this guy has a history of violence going back 20 years. Yeah. Oh, they weren't allowed to know. It was something like prejudicial. Prejudicial. It was oh. disgusting, Jack. Come on in. Yeah. Hello. Oh, look. Sophie has just seen her first manslaughter trial. Justice will never be the same again. Right. Father of the bride, huh? Right. Oh, yeah, in his dreams. Oh, look, is there any reason why that's got to hang right where it, it is? Right it doesn't in the middle? fit in the wardrobe. Right, so this is so Gavin doesn't see it. Oh, don't you love tradition? Eh? Are we in a rush? No, 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 finish your cereal. Oh. Helen just wants us to drive to Balmoral. What's in Balmoral? Drugs, uh, dead people. Uh, actually, a dumped wetsuit. Woods found it in the harbour, weighted down with a brick. Helen chased up the owner. It belongs to uh, Yvonne McLaren. Uh -huh. Uh, listen, uh, you can come with us. We can drop you on the uh, way. No, thank you. Anyway, who's that? No one. No, no one. Matthew hey. Quinn. Oh, it's no one, right? Good. Right. Yeah. Man, look, what a bomb. Wouldn't even pass roadworthy. That's not what you were worried about. Uh, what are we doing? We're returning Eva McLaren's lost property. No, not exactly. Look, she's been presumed dead for about two years. Yeah. She was last seen windsurfing off Balmoral Point. They thought she'd been taken by a shark. So the shark somehow got her out of the wetsuit and then weighed it down with a brick. Yeah, then wrapped wire around it. Right, all without opposable thumbs. <laughs> That's oh, it. terrific. That's good. <laughs> oh, the officers have just happened. Nice ground. Yeah. <laughs> So how long has uh, Mr McLaren been principal here? Uh, for eight years. He's a wonderful example to the girls. So you're the deputy principal? To I see, yes. Uh, Doug, someone here to see you. It's the police. Go right in. Thank you. Right, thanks. Morning. Uh, Mr McLaren. Yes. Detective Christie, Detective St Clair, Sydney Water Place. Uh, is this about one of the girls? No, 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 no. Oh, that's good. Had me worried for a minute. <laughs> it's about your wife, Mr. McLaren. We think we may have found her wetsuit. Well, it's just a warning. Well, it was so long ago, I, I, I really couldn't be sure. 
Well, the manufacturer is. It was custom made. It was found in the harbour way down with a brick. Uh, do you know of any reason why it'd be found this way? A brick? Well, I don't understand. Um, they said a shark, they thought. Yeah, we've been over the file, but uh, maybe you could refresh us. Could you take us through the circumstances surrounding your wife's disappearance? Well, there weren't any circumstances. Um, I went to work, she went windsurfing. She often used to go windsurfing in the morning. Right, so she didn't work? Yeah, she, she worked from home. She was a, a dress designer. She was pretty good too. She was really going places. I was going to go into business with her. Run the orders, manage things. I'd already handed him my resignation. Hey, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I just uh, had a cholera shot. So you're going overseas? Yeah, I'm having a holiday in India. When was the, the last time that you saw your wife? Just before I went to school. You had a meeting with, with a, a staff member that morning, yeah, with a, a Sandra Healy between 10 and 11, right? Yeah. Well, uh, one of your neighbours saw your wife leaving the house about 10, so it looks like you've got a clear alibi. Where do the P5s go? The traffic offences. But... Oh, will you be all right on your own for a moment? Yeah, you're all right. It's just a cold, a bit of a headache. I'll go and take something. You should go home. Yeah. Oh, I see. Whereabouts are you? Can I help you? Not if you like the other girl. <clears throat> OK, shall we just start from the start? Yeah, it might be the start for you, but I'm getting pretty damn sick of it. Every time I have to explain it again, over and over. I'm sorry, Mr... Cantor. I have been shunted from here to waterways and back again. Nothing happens. Nothing ever changes. All right, well, perhaps if you explain... This is everything. From when I first lost my boating licence five weeks ago... All right, well, if I... your licence has been revoked... No, been... no, no. I lost it. Lost. It misplaced. Yeah, dropped it. Yeah. So you want to report a lost... No, I reported it and reported it. But someone is using it. Someone found it and is passing off my licence as their own. Speeding fines. You understand? Someone is breaking the law and I am getting the fines. All right, well, voting licences actually have photo ID on them, so it's pretty yeah. unlikely. I, I know, I know. And it's probably some scrawny kid with red hair and pimples. Mr Counter, it says here that your licence has been revoked. Yes, it has now, because I won't pay the fines. Right. Um, voting licences are actually issued by waterways, so perhaps if you spoke... Yeah. You're obviously way too busy. Where's Vanessa? Oh, she's not feeling very well. Oh. Excuse me, I'm looking for Doug McLaren. His deputy principal told me two detectives brought him in here. He's upstairs. OK, um, I'll find out what's happening. What's your name? Sandra Healy. OK, Sandra, can I follow me? So, so when are you off to India? Oh, two weeks, but this thing's clearly knocked me sideways. Is this Mr McLaren? Yeah. There's a Sandra Healy waiting downstairs for you. Oh. Isn't she the one who supplied you with the alibi? Yeah, yeah, she's my fiancé. Just think about it, Jeff, right? The wife disappeared off Balmoral. The windsurfer was found off North Head. Now they've found the wetsuit way down in the middle of the harbour. Yeah, there's no way that she was taken by a shark. You think it's murder? Well, it's not without a body. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to re-interview the witnesses. They certainly didn't put much of an effort into it. Yeah, it was probably no need, Jeff. There were no suspicious circumstances, and there was a shark sighting the very next day. So, two and two, three. Yeah, we're putting the husband on the top of the list of suspects. Yeah, except everyone says they were a devoted couple. That's the one thing that files full of. But you know what? Now he's marrying his alibi witness. That's not a crime. Well, maybe he likes being married. Some people do. Uh, he was sweating like a pig as we were interviewing him. He said he had a cholera shot. Yeah, yeah. right, well, we'll see. Hey, Mick, can you do us a favour? I've got a job for you. Uh, I heard Emma was hurt. Oh, no, it's not bad, mate. Don't chase yeah, after us, a little know. thing. Oh, what do you mean, Jack? Oh, sorry, it's not bad. She's just got a thing over here. Come on, we need you, mate.
Are you looking for something? Uh, no, I was just, um, I was just uh, looking for Sergeant Simmons, actually. I understand she hasn't been well. No, I sent her to the doctors. Oh, did you? Oh, good. Oh, good. Very good. Yes, that's, that's good. And uh, Woods's wrist is fine. Just a strain, in case you want to know about another member of your team. Yep, that's, that's good. good. Th th thanks for that, Helen. Uh, that's, um... No, I think I want to do the investigator's course. You know you got to graduate first, actually become a cop. I know. Then you got to work for two years. Yeah, I know, I know. Chip off the old block, huh? I think what I want is a challenge. I mean, otherwise, what do you end up doing? You end up doing the same thing day in, day out. I beg your pardon? Oh, no. No, look, I didn't mean you. Oh, right. No, I know. Bodies are as, what, dumb as horse shit? Uh, I'm joking, so. Hey, what's that? Gavin, get off the phone. You're getting married in three days. You can speak to her then. Have a look. And I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, okay? Love you. Bye. Who did it? I wish the bloody sign torched in two days. Really? Police launch never says oh, go Someone's not making your job any easier. Tell me about it. Why would anybody want to burn a waterway sign? Yeah, I don't know. Stupid. Hey guys, we've got a report of another boy on fire. So if we're gonna have to let you off here, it seems that uh, someone had a good look at this guy and he was in an unmarked tinny. Really? It was an unmarked tinny that what Woodsy, wasn't it? Yep. All right, Sophie, I'll give you a hand. Thanks. Do I really have say here? So if you know the score, you're a trainee. There's no ops, no risk. I'll get someone to pick up later on. Hello, Detective St. Clair. Can I go inside? Uh, sure, Sandra. Go on. G'day, Jack Christie, Sydney Water Place. Hello, Jack, Sandra. Hi, right, sir. Um, Detective Michael Riley from the Sydney Water Police. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry, but um, Doug's gone back to work. Uh, we were hoping to speak to you. Oh, um, would you like to come through? He um, he told me about the wetsuit. It's not hers. It can't be. It is. There's no question. Uh, we're reopening the investigation, so you understand we need to speak to all the original witnesses. You think she was murdered? Sure, I remember the car. Big blue Volvo Estate. 85, 86 maybe. He sold it a few months later. Not that you'd blame him. It was his wife, was it? Yeah. Kept a windsurfer on top. Sporty woman. Used to run all the time. In your statement, you said that you saw Yvonne drive off at about 10 a.m. Is that right? Well, I definitely saw a car. The windows were tinted. It's definitely a woman. Well, who else could it be? He never drove it. So you were working at Balmoral Primary School at the time Yvonne disappeared? Or well, part-time. I, I was a remedial teacher. Right. Uh, and you were in a meeting with Mr McLaren between 10 and 11 uh, at the time she went missing? <laughs> Look, it was two and a half years ago. Yeah. Yes. OK, is there anything you'd like to add to your statement? Anything you'd like to change? Doug was with me. He wasn't lying. Nobody said he was, Miss Healy. It was a shark attack. They saw a shark and knew where they found her board. And now they've found the wetsuit and there's not a mark on it. Now, I gather no one was home uh, in the house next door the day that she disappeared. His neighbours were in Perth. Gone back to see the relatives while their place was being renovated. House was gutted. They're engaged, you know. Guess they figure they'd waited long enough. Oh, yeah. How long have you known Mr. McLaren? Um, five years. 
It wasn't like that. We we were friends. I mean, we worked together. How'd you go? Oh. Sounds believable enough. Yeah, the neighbour, Mr. Rifle, seems to think they've been doing it for years. Well, the old Rudy Purdy, eh? Is he any Polaroids? No, Jack, just opinion. Okay, okay yeah, sounds right. like we go back to Doug's. Yeah. Um, Emma, Emma. I can't believe you haven't even asked how I am. You haven't called, nothing. Well, everybody told me you were doing fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure I will be fine. Mick, once I give you the push. See ya. Who was that, your stockbroker? Shut up, Jack, okay? You're the one who told me not to call her. Bye-bye, <laughs> Don Juan. So does Sandra Healy still work here, Mrs Pinchton? No. Right. Uh, was there something wrong with her work? No, not with her work. Uh, not on the steps, please. Once more and you're on detention. It was her behaviour. Yeah. Um, after Doug's wife died, yeah. he didn't know if he was coming or going. He was a mess. Yeah. And uh, there was some talk around the school that she was taking advantage of the situation. I thought it was inappropriate. Oh. Just through here. Right. I've just had Sandra on the phone in tears. What gives you the right? If I heard you and your wife were inseparable, I would have thought you'd share our concerns about her disappearance. Yes. So we have a problem, Mr. McLaren. If your wife's not in the water. Then where is she? We'd like your permission to search your house, Mr. McLaren. What a cadaver dog, Jack. I mean, what's, what's the chances? Okay, it's pretty limited. Hey, look, a body that old. The handler says that the dog would virtually have to be standing on top of it to smell anything. Look, I, I just thought it might scare him into some sort of admission. Okay. How's Woodsy? How's things up? Oh, she said something about not having a long-term future. Yeah, well, you don't, really, do you? Yeah, probably not, Jack. I reckon we're looking in the wrong place, guys. Mm. Next door. This place was gutted at the same time Yvonne went missing. The place was being renovated. Plenty of places to hide a body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> We got ourselves a body. Bullseye. How are you doing, Chop? Oh, I've been bending over in here for two hours. We found something. I got a cloth. Could be sailcloth. cloth. Pretty thick, whatever it is. I got bones. Human? Yeah. Femur. I know one of them when I see it. Okay, thanks, Chop. What is it? What have you found? Yvonne? A body. I didn't do it. I swear. This guy's got the motivation. He hates waterways. He hates us. Yeah, well, lots of people uh, lose their licenses, so they don't burn signs. No, no, this guy's different. He says the waterways made a mistake and that someone else is using his boat license. <laughs> Are you talking about Mr. I'll yell at you until you understand me, Canter? Have you met this guy too? Oh, he is impossible. I wouldn't put anything past him. Um, Morris Canter, he's all yours. Hey, what's this guy look like? Mm, he's about that high, balding, dark complexion. So that sounds like it, yeah. What's he done? Probably whack would you for starters. Yeah. Do you want to this? Yes, but... You still owe me money besides his wedding present. Can you cover me? He's your partner. Yeah, thanks, sir. You're a scumbag. Thanks. Don't do much until we make a positive ID. Hey, I think I'll just crack my first case. Oh, that's great. He's going overseas in two weeks and I don't want to lose him. Yeah, no, my guess is he's going on his own. Hey, how do you rest? What? Yeah, I have to rest for five days. It's a pain in the butt. Looks like the romance is over, eh, Mick? Yeah, Jack, it's over. Well, Chopper's got the wife's dental record, so with any luck, we should have a formal ID by this afternoon. Yes, Jack. Jack. 
We look, go, get hold of the company that did the renovations, track down the builders that worked on the place. What about this neighbour? The one who saw her driving away? Oh, well, she didn't drive anywhere because she was found next door. He wasn't 100% sure it was her, but he did say he saw a woman. Sandra Hurley. Yep. Maurice Cantor, isn't it? Yes. Mind if we have a bit of a look around, sir? I don't care. Thank you. A girl that doesn't know anything. Is this your tinny, Mr. Cantor? Yes, it is. There's no displayed registration? No. You work on boats, don't you? Yeah. Something you should know about then, isn't it? Listen, this is serious. You could go to jail. I mean, burning navigational signs is illegal. Yeah, at least I get three square meals. You don't see it, do you? I've lost everything. They took my licence away. I drive a water taxi. They sack me. I can't pay the mortgage. The wife's left. Everything's gone. Hey, Gav. Gav, look at this. He's marked all the boys. He's marked. Bloody idiot. Yeah, petrol. petrol. I like this. But this guy's life has gone down the toilet because everywhere he goes, people give him the runaround. What else was he supposed to do? Not set navigation boys on fire? He could get seven years. Seven years? <gasps> Wedding present, what are we getting him? A two door fridge. What, one of those huge things? Hmm. Tori, have you seen the size of their flat? Emma, white goods last forever. They're not going to live in that flat forever, are they? Yeah, right. <laughs> Now, that's right, mate. I need the name of every builder that okay. worked okay. on the project okay. at the time. Listen, a body service, we got a definite ID. Yeah, tradies, everyone. Okay, cause of death? A uh, fractured skull, single blow to the back of the head, and the cloth she was wrapped in was a windsurfing sail. Yeah, this is closer and closer to home. Someone should inform the next of kin. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Yeah, I'm still waiting, mate. There's no question that the remains we found are your wife's. Now, the body was wrapped in a windsurfing sail. Do you know whether your wife had more than one? Three or four, I don't know. They were hers. Would you know if there was one missing? I don't know. She looked after the windsurfing stuff. She, she kept it in a cupboard in the hallway. I never opened it after. Can you show me? Can I get you anything? All the time she was just lying over there. Okay, well, why, don't, why don't you sit down for a minute? You keep it locked? Just since the accident. It's upsetting. Can you tell if there's one missing? Morning that uh, Doug's wife disappeared, you were in a meeting with him, weren't you? Yeah. Right, are you sure about that? I don't know what to think anymore. OK, well, what about Mrs Pynchon? The vice principal, maybe she saw you or can remember the meeting. <laughs> Mrs. Pinch remember what colour clothes I was wearing. <laughs> right, she doesn't like you. I think she's jealous of me. I'm... We don't get on. Jealous? Uh, Doug was a mess. I'm... She was overprotective. I was half expecting her to run Yvonne's memorial service. Didn't even show. It's probably the only thing around Doug she didn't organise. Excuse me a second. He says this is how I'm missing. Uh, OK. Um, listen, um, this is my card. It's got my mobile on it. And any time you want to talk, you give me a call. OK? Thank you. All right. That is one scared lady. Yeah, scared of him. All right. Hmm. Wow. 
whale. Well. You look gorgeous. Everyone's going to think Gavin's marrying me just because I'm pregnant. Oh, come on, Eva. Everybody knows the man's dotty about you. I can't even do the zip up. We'll fix it, OK? How? Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe we should go upstairs. Yeah. Oh, up front. Around, around here. Oops. Aunt, you want a drink? Vodka. You never have vodka. You want ice? <sighs> yeah, St. Clair. Yes, Sandra, what is it? I was scared. I thought he was going to hit me or something. <sighs> oh. can, can, can you please come quickly? I don't want to charge. She only did it because you've got her scared of me. So where is she? She locked herself in the bathroom. So she hit you? It's your fault. I so much as blink, she thinks I'm going to kill her. Just like I killed my wife. That's what you've got her thinking. You should get that looked at, because if you were knocked out unconscious, right, you could be concussed. I can't stay here. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I just, I just can't. I didn't kill her. Why don't you believe me? Okay, what are we doing here? Like, are we gonna head to Chinatown or what? Nah, stand right here. Ah, oh, this place is a dive. No, yeah, no, look, this is not a <laughs> Gavin, you've got plenty of time for that. Now go away. <laughs> really? <laughs> Now, see, the main difference is Eva can't drink in case you guys had not noticed. Yeah, Virgin Mary's for me. Yeah, right. It's a bit late for that. Oh, no. No. oh he's trouble. Hey, you can't come in here. Yeah, we were here first. Hey, hey Gab, Gab, there's got to be some tradition here, mate. You can't bring the bride to a bike party. Yeah, yeah. so go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah we will. We will. We are, as soon as his dripper does a thing. Oh, and after that, we're going to take him out stupid. and get him rat-ass. Well, it's just tradition, eh? You're a shout anyway, Gab. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, come on, please. Oh, is in a mess because of our bureaucratic incompetence and we just sit around on our backsides and do nothing about it. We can't fix everything. Well, if people did what they were supposed to do in the first place, things wouldn't need to be fixed, would they? I did everything I could. It was waterways. Well, you didn't. You didn't like the man, so you didn't help him. But you will next time, won't you? Yes, Sergeant. Sort of. Hey, what time does the bus leave tomorrow? Ten o'clock from the car park. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dump you in it. I just want the man to get his licence back. How are you going with those builders? Yeah, I'm off to check the last of them now. See you, guys. Hello, mate. I called from the McLaren house the day she disappeared. OK, 9.45am. Yes, I checked that. Uh, it's a fabric supplier. Yeah, she's okay. a dress designer. Right, so she was still alive at 9.45am. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, we, we've got to reassess his husband. Hey, who else could it be? 
I tend to agree. Uh, what, what, about, what about the neighbour? I mean, he's always watching the place. Yeah, it, what's his motive? That's... Sex? I mean, she's a fitness fanatic. She's got a good rig. Maybe he's put the hard word on her. Yeah, but hang on, <gasps> hang on. He's in his 60s. Now, I'm not talking about the sex. I'm talking about strength, right? He's got to cart the body next door, drop it in a drainage ditch and shovel it over with clay, right? And then he has to take the windsurfer out to sea. Look, the only thing that we are sure of here is that she was killed at home. OK, so maybe maybe the killer left something behind. Fingerprints, anything. I mean, maybe there's still some evidence there. No, I don't think so. Not after all this time. OK, so what else we got? I'll tell you what, I don't want to be the one to tell Doug we're going to tear his house apart. <laughs> now, I've spoken to the Infringement Processing Bureau in Parramatta and they're going to give me the names of the issuing officers. So I'll speak to them and see if they can testify that it wasn't you who they issued the fine to. Wait, you think they can remember faces? We can do this. No, it's too late. I've had a front up in court later on today. Come on, Soph, we've got to go. Yeah, I'm coming. Look, I know you mean well. Look, um, I'll come back, OK? So, so, so what if he's wrong? What if we're wrong and he's, he's innocent? What if we're right and he's been getting away with murder? What if this whole whack on the head thing is just a smoke screen? He's going to resign. What? He's just handed in his resignation and he's... This is your fault the way you've been tormenting him. Now just hang on. Hang on a minute. The man is innocent. Listen, your loyalty is admirable. Are you deaf? I said he's innocent. OK, how do you know? Look, is there something you're not telling us? No. I mean, this is way over the top. Yeah. Isn't, didn't he resign one time before? Yeah, he was going to help his wife out in business. And then she disappeared and he rescinded his resignation. And Mrs Pynchon was very happy. Very happy. I'll try to be as unobtrusive as I can, but it's a pretty messy job. Sandra in? No. She left me. Look, if you just want to have a look in here, I've got everything that... Hang on. No. Doesn't take no for an answer, does she? Yeah, see? Please, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't want it. <laughs> but it's all in here. I, I even found two officers who remembered issuing the fines. See, the photo on your licence, it was a little bit squished, so it was hard to see clearly. And one of the officers even remembers telling the guy that he'd have to get a new one, otherwise he'd be fined. Darling, if I'd only met you a week ago... It's not too late. No, it is. It's over. It's done. I'm stuffed, love. I'm facing charges of reckless driving and damaging navigational boys. I mean, it's not about fines anymore. Thank you for flying. Hey! Don't worry, so we'll get up. Hey, so pass me the net. Hey, go. Yeah. Last day of freedom, mate. Yeah. Ah! Stop! I'm sorry, you'll have to wait. We've got a scientific team working here. How long? A couple of hours. Why have you done this to us? So, as you can see, we've got the best facilities in the region. Indoor sports centre, computer lab. Doug and I did that. Right, you two must be close. The perfect team. He always knew he could count on me to back him up. We'll need something with the wife's fingerprints on it, just for elimination. That also yours and your fiancé's. She's not my fiancé anymore. Well, just because he's resigned doesn't mean you two can't still see each other. It was a professional relationship. So you've never been to his house before? What he does at home is his own business. Not even once? No. Yvonne put it together. She put all the photos behind the plastic. 
So all the fingerprints will be hers. You know, she was just a fashion designer. He told me he was resigning, that he was going to leave me. Of course I was upset. It was a moment of madness, I suppose. She had her back turned to me and I picked up a frying pan and I hit her. And there wasn't much blood. I mean, there was nothing much to clean up. And I wrapped the body in a windsurfing sail. This is not a confession. It's just that you know it wasn't Doug. I mean, I'd never repeat it. It's just between you and me. Uh-huh. Listen, Forensic have picked up some unidentified prints in the cupboard where the sails were kept. Anyway, I've got responsibilities. I've got to find a new principal. Mrs. Pynchon, you're not obliged to say or do anything unless you wish to do so. Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard you. You're under arrest for the murder of Yvonne McLaren. Now, anything you do or say may be used in evidence I'll against... deny everything. Okay, well, I need you to accompany me to the station where you will be charged and fingerprinted. Come on, it's gonna be okay. Just go to the car. Pretty mad, you know. He said that away from work, he barely knew her, right? He'd been over to her place after her husband had left, but only a couple of times. And that was like to do odd jobs, you know, fix a washer, do a light bulb sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, well, the psych I spoke to said her husband leaving her is what did it. Yeah. Right, she saw Doug as a new male dominant uh, Figure, partner yeah, in her yeah. life, right? He was a boss, she was a dutiful too, I yeah. see. Perfect marriage. Yeah, really. uh, until he told her he was leaving. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's go see what she spent her money on. Oh my lord, that, that is it's big. Big. It's your turn. So, what do you think? Yeah. Has Gavin seen it? No. Luckily, he left early. And now, by the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Australia, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Want to dance with your old man? <laughs> right. Beat it, Quinn. Okay? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What'd you give it away for? <laughs> I can't even get it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. What's that? Oh, it's just thing about us uh, screwing up Doug McLaren's wedding plans. I know, huh? Well, you know, we make mistakes. Can happen. Sure. Yeah.